Legion's Western belts are designed and inspired by the authentic Western lifestyle. Like the cowboys that wear these styles, Legion has found ways of turning working gear into works of art. My Western background really got acquired uh, by many years of, of living, you know, just a, a true Western cowboy life. Our designers are rodeo cowboys or riders that live the Western lifestyle day in and day out. This helps them incorporate many of those time-honored traditions into each and every one of our Legion products. Legion's design team is what keeps Justin and Tony Lama belts on the cutting edge of Western wear belt design. Justin and Tony Lama have a combined history of over 230 years and have set the standard for quality and craftsmanship in the Western boot industry. Legion Leather has been designing quality Western belts for the past 30 years. And for the past 20 plus years, we have been the licensee for the two most recognizable boot brands in America, Justin and Tony Lama. Every belt starts with a designer's inspiration. When I design, I pretty much get inspired by everything. Everything that has to do with the Western lifestyle. For instance, the fenced in is one of my uh, favorite belts, and I was truly inspired by the old Western barbed wire. My satisfaction has actually been just seeing that the customer has received the belt very well and has enjoyed it. We start with an inspiration. We take that inspiration, we put it down on a pencil sketch drawing and turns it into a fine Western piece of art. Many Western belt manufacturers buy existing hardware to use on their belts, but Legion spends the time to create original designs of the highest quality to offer customers nothing but the best. Buckles are created using Western engraving and silversmithing or through the ancient art of sand casting. We don't buy our buckles from stock buckle houses. We actually design each of the buckles. I basically imagine a three-dimensional image, put it on paper so that people understand exactly what it's gonna be, what shape it has, or even what tones it might have. While some buckles remain a high polished silver, others are aged using a chemical process Legion has perfected. There's essentially two main finishes that we utilize. The highly polished silver and we also use another finish which really I think sets the standard for finishes in the Western industry and that is our antiqued finish. We take the buckles, we oxidize them, we then polish them and they come out looking like amazing family heirlooms that have been passed down from generation to generation. And of course, the leather on the belt is just as important as the buckle that holds it together. Legion searches the world to find only the richest and finest full grain leathers available. Most Western belts are made with American tanned leathers, but we also use the finest bullhide leathers from Spain and Italy, as well as saddle leathers from South America. We only utilize top grain or full grain leathers in all of our Western products. That ensures a quality product to the consumer. Many of our competitors utilize split leathers or even bonded leathers, which just don't last like a Legion belt will. Legion ensures the quality of each belt by taking the time to meticulously polish and burnish the belts to achieve the desired look and texture. All exposed edges are dyed, as well as the adjustment holes. The Western industry is of course rooted in America and Legion Leather takes great pride in the fact that we still manufacture over 3,000 belts a day at our facility in Southern California. Along with that, we manufacture thousands of belts a day at our facility in Asia. We take great pride in being the last significant Western belt manufacturer in America. Our production personnel, they have worked here for over 30 years. They have done uh, phenomenal work hand tooling belts, stitching, combining the belts. And so when we do a product, we make sure the product is well made and used for many years to come. One of the signature looks of a Legion Western belt is that of intricate braided detail. Hand lacing is a time-honored tradition of the Western industry and it's also a tradition that Legion Leather excels at. We can incorporate up to 25 to 50 feet of hand laced leather into a specific Western style. To actually lace the whole belt, it can take up to eight hours to lace from one end to the other on both sides. Another signature Western look is that of rawhide lacing, which has been used to provide strength and beauty for the finest handcrafted cowboy gear since the days of the first cattle drive. Over the years, some of Legion's most successful Western belt styles have incorporated rawhide buttons. 
rawhide lacing is truly an art form that has been passed down from generation to generation and Legion does it better than anyone in the industry. A single rawhide button on a belt could take a skilled craftsman up to two to three hours to complete. They wet the rawhide to make it soft and pliable in order to be woven into the beautiful rawhide buttons that Legion incorporates on many of its best-selling Western belts. It's a way of bringing probably the old West, the old cowboys and Indians look to the Western fashion today. Hand tool belts are a classic look for cowboys past and present. Hand tooling starts with embossing a piece of leather with a basic line pattern using dyes made from original designs. For as long as cowboys have been riding horses, they have been hand tooling most of their Western products. Each point is hand enhanced with a craftsman utilizing a hammer and a specific set of tools. The tooling is done entirely by hand as the depth and placement of each carving is imperative to the design. Dedication to uncompromising quality creates the Legion difference, a difference that can be seen in stores throughout America and in the endless hours of teamwork that shape a piece of fine leather into a timeless work of art.